feels super surreal. It's happening. Good morning, beautiful people. If you are new here, my name is Amanda Zitto. I normally make travel vlogs, how-tos, and general encouragement for you to get out and do the thing. And it's officially happening. We are on Flight of the Magpie. I left Portland, Oregon yesterday. Um, for those of you who are just joining us, uh, Flight of the Magpie is a project that I've been working on for a little bit over a year to do an 8,000 mile loop of the United States because I've never seen the East Coast. <laughs> And I didn't film saying goodbye to my boyfriend. I kind of wanted to keep that between us. Keep a couple things private. Because <laughs> it's hard saying goodbye to your significant other for an extended period of time like that. Like a month, like the two and a half months that I was gone on the pilgrimage, that was really hard. Anyway, so I left Portland. I essentially hauled butt down the gorge. No issues this time, no helmet malfunctions. You may have noticed that I have a new helmet. Um, that is because on the way back from Rocky Mountain Roll, I dropped my helmet right as I was leaving Montana. So I had to scramble and find a new helmet. Same Scorpion XO AT950, but different color. I couldn't manage to find a white in my size that was in stock anywhere in Portland. I'm not gonna lie. I missed the white. <laughs> it was crazy hot yesterday when I stopped in Boardman. My phone said that it was 111 degrees in Boardman. That is insane. And it felt like it. <laughs> I stopped and had some ice cream and kept hauling butt. I thought that I was going to camp at a little campground that's just east of Dayton, but I found out that that was a state park, so that didn't work out. So I ended up riding um, out here to this spot in the dark, set up camp in the dark. It was nice not waking up like to my tent being in microwave this morning. Plan for the day is to pack up camp, hopefully in less than two hours this time, and head to the ranch uh, in Montana and pick up my brother because we're going to go to the Badlands together. I'm dragging his butt to the Badlands. I'm very excited. Gary and I haven't gotten to go on an adventure together in quite a long time, and I don't think we have ever gotten to like do like a multi-day motorcycle trip together. So that's very exciting.
I hope that you can hear the thunder. Something you may not know about me, I don't actually enjoy it all that much when it rains. I know, big surprise as a biker that I don't like the rain. It actually stems from when I was a kid and I first learned the story of Noah's Ark. I was terrified every time it started raining that it was going to flood, like biblically flood, and that I would have to decide between picking my favorite blanket or my favorite book because everything else would be lost to the flood. I'm really glad that I did not grow up in a flood plain <laughs> because that probably would have uh, concreted that fear uh, pretty thoroughly. But I do really love Montana thunderstorms. I feel like the sky is talking to me. I had grand intentions of Gary and I leaving today for the Badlands, but he needed to go to work this morning and I had a couple more things I need to take care of on the bike. Um, I want to readjust my shifter again. After I put the skid plate on while I was home, when I put the shifter back on, it isn't quite in the exact spot that I had it before. So I need to readjust my shifter, get that where it needs to be. And it'll give me time to hang out with my dad, and I'm excited about that. It's always a good time. I know that this probably means I'm going to be pushing it a little bit more when I get towards the end of the trip um, to make it back in time, but better to enjoy the things that I can enjoy than be in a rush the whole time. It's just not what I'm about. <laughs> okay, I think that it has stopped raining momentarily, so I'm going to gather up my stuff, head up to the house so I can take care of some online stuff. So I got up to the house and I had a bit of a surprise waiting for me. Uh, Wolfman sent me new bags to go on the bike to replace the rolly and the old duffel that I have. So that's super exciting. So I'm taking everything out of the rollies that were on my engine guards and putting them in my new rollies and I'll stuff the new duffel bike. It's very exciting. I just want to say a huge thank you to Wolfman Luggage again for all of their support and just being incredible humans. I'm super stoked. BRIS is now decked out in totally brand new 2020 Wolfman luggage. I'm super, super stoked. Now that's all done, we can take care of a few other things that need to be taken care of. Get my gear shifter adjusted and uh, make sure that my brother is ready for the trip coming up. Jeez, brother. My brother helped me fix my shock. I got that all adjusted. It's a little bit stiffer now. I'm gonna run with it the way that it is and see how it goes and got my gear shifter back where it needs to be. But while my brother was down there working on my shock, he uh, observed that my rear sprocket is uh, getting eaten up a little bit faster than I anticipated it. I had sent a new sprocket and chain to Milwaukee, but I'm not thinking that sprocket's gonna make it 1,500 miles, so. After a whole lot of calling around, I have found a dealership in Rapid City that can overnight the parts and we can get there on Saturday, get the new sprockets, get all that stuff installed and keep on trucking. Between that and uh, my brother and I had a little bit of a miscommunication, so he didn't get the time off to go anywhere until Friday, so I got here Tuesday night. It's been like two days that I didn't expect to be hanging out in Montana, but I'm not going to complain any because that means I get to hang out with my parents and I love hanging out with my parents. Oh, it's always a good time. You just gotta roll with the punches. <laughs> Let it be known that I try to give my brother the duffel. He insists on bringing this giant camera bag with him. Uh, and it's not waterproof. <laughs> it had a rain cover. 
Mm-hmm. What happened to the rain cover, brother? Literally like, not even a quarter of that. For how much? They want like 20 bucks for it. I can't remember, it's like 20 or 30 bucks. And the little glass vial with the necklace. And I was like, no. I hope that you guys like this video. Make sure you do hit that like and subscribe button if you did. If you like these kind of videos and would like to support the channel for as little as $1 a month, you can get early access to videos like these ad-free before the rest of the world over on my Patreon. Links to those are down in the description. If you cannot support me monetarily right now, that is absolutely okay. I appreciate you guys just for being here and watching these videos every single week. In the meantime, guys, I'll see you later.